All right, so uh, we want to talk, Ms. Sheen and I want to talk about the roadmap that we're asking you to do this week and give you some direction for it. In my opinion, and Ms. Sheen, you can chime in here, but this is the core of the paper that we're going to be writing here um, in the upcoming weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So this is going to be... Um, an extension off of your steps uh, two and three from last week, and then uh, kind of growing from there, adding some quotes and expanding your knowledge of the uh, topic that you're researching. It's important to note that this is due by the end of the week of April 27th. The following week, I think it is uh, May, May 7th, May 6th, uh, you're going to have the first two pages of your paper done. But if you have your roadmap, roadmap done on time, you are going to, it's going to be looking beautiful for you. All right. Uh, because it's going to be easy to write those pages because this really functions as kind of a skeleton for it. All right. So let's just walk through, Ms. Sheehan, uh, what we're asking them to do here. As Ms. Sheehan said, you really are building on step two and step three from last week's lessons. And you'll notice that in order to support your thesis statement, you'll need to have three strong reasons for your thesis statement. The three strong reasons are your topic sentence for each main section you will need, etc. And then when you go down through, you'll see that what we're asking for, um, this is not updated. What is it? The uh, text of the research paper roadmap. Um, I would refresh it because it should be. I copied and pasted it from the finished version that we made. All right, let me just see what we got here. Uh, it is not showing up different. That's interesting. Hmm. All right, well, do you know what? I'm going to go to the, the roadmap itself. Okay. So uh, this is the roadmap uh, that we have in front of you. And notice what we're asking you to do is really just pull from steps two and step three for this roadmap. You're going to need two strong reasons to support your argument or thesis, and that's to support it. And one reason that kind of supports the counter argument, you, of course, are going to answer and kind of debunk or maybe concede to the counter argument. And these things make up your thesis statement. And we will, by this time, have approved your thesis statement and have approved your topic sentences. And so all you're doing is you're copying and pasting them right in here. Here you can copy your thesis statement right in here. Um, and then under that, you're going to copy your topic sentence directly from step two, whichever of the three topic sentences you're using for one and then two, and then you have a third one in case these don't pan out. Uh, but this is really where kind of the work begins, in my opinion, Ms. Sheehan, because once you have those in, you have to go to your articles and pull evidence that supports these things, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, finding your quotes is probably going to be the biggest heavy lifting of this research paper. Um, it's kind of where you start formulating your own ideas of how you're going to kind of bring to life this argument. Yeah, and uh, this is why this is the only thing that you're doing this week. This is supposed to be done by Friday, hopefully by Thursday, but by Friday of this week, you want to have this done. I would too, Ms. Sheehan, as you're writing, if you pull a quote and you say, oh, here's why this quote supports this, you may want to jot a sentence or two down in the explanation to kind of help with that. One thing mm -hmm. we forgot to mention, Ms. Sheehan, is that when you put a quote in, it needs to be in proper format. That means yes. that you are leading into the quotes and establishing authority. For example, if I'm quoting Ms. Sheehan, I might say, Mrs. Sheehan, authority on uh, English grammar said, and then boom, a quote, right? And so you're going to try and establish why should we be listening to these people? Make sure that you're introducing your quotes and then your quotes there, and then you're citing them correctly at the end. Is there anything else that I'm really missing here, Ms. Jin? I don't think so. Yeah, and so notice that we have the topic sentences. We're asking you to do really two quotes to support the first one, two quotes to support the second. You need two quotes to kind of support your counter argument, but then you want to kind of refute that counter argument. That makes up the core of your paper. 
The only other spot that we should probably mention here is context. We would like you to give a little bit of a history as to why this, why this is an issue and maybe pull in a quote if you can. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is kind of it. So this is kind of what we're asking you to do this week. So this is going to take you, I can't imagine taking more than two hours to do if you put your mind to it. Uh, I think it's totally doable. And then from here on out, once this is finished and once we approve it, you are moving on to the research paper itself. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's it. I don't know that we need to say a whole lot more. Uh, if you have any questions, Ms. Sheehan and I always have office hours between 10 and 11 uh, during the week. And you can message us instead of a time to talk. Um, or you can email us. There's a ton of ways you can get a hold of it. You can message us through a Remind app for those of you that have signed up for the Remind. And uh, I think we should be good to go here. Hopefully this helps give a little bit of direction on how to set up your roadmap. Yep. All right. Bye, guys.